My name is Alan Prost, and I'm producing a short series on how to do pulmonary function testing. This is test number nine, what we're talking about doing the plasmography or the body box volume testing for our patients. So we need to coach our patients very clearly on how to do this test. It's a little bit more difficult than some of the other ones we've talked about, and coaching is really critical for this one. Now, each manufacturer has a little bit of little different way that doing the plasmography occurs. So you need to adapt your coaching to how your machines work, but they're all basically the same, okay? So I'm gonna demonstrate for you how we're gonna do it with our, this particular device, all right? So with this one here, like always with our patients, on the body box, we're gonna sit them inside the body box and they'll actually be breathing through this apparatus right here. We've got a little filter on there for them so they'll be breathing in out through this filter. Now, as they're doing that, we're gonna close the body box door and it's gonna seal. So it'll sound a little unusual there and the temperature will rise quite quickly. So we have to prepare them for that, all right? And that's part of your instructions to get good, clear, precise instructions so that they can follow you. Now they can hear through there. We have a little speaker system as well. Another thing to always mention to your patients is that they have an emergency release. So if they're feeling a little claustrophobic at any time and they want to stop the test, they can just slide the door open or they can hit the release and the door will open automatically. All right? They just let us know and we can stop the test and do it at any time. No reason to stress our patients out about this test. We can relax and do it multiple times if needed. Now, the key things that the patient has to be able to do during this test while the door is closed is that, yes, like with all pulmonary function testing, they need to get a good seal around this. They're going to be wearing their nose clips. Make sure all the air that they're breathing goes in and out through here unobstructed. So it's important that their tongue or their teeth are out of the way. Teeth should be on the outside with their lips getting a good seal around the filter like this. Now, with this particular test, there's some other elements to that. So, what we're gonna do is we're gonna start off with just nice, even breathing. Just letting them get relaxed in the body box. So just coach your patients, nice, even breathing. Just let them get settled in. Most machines need about four or five breaths at least just to gather the baseline data, right? Make sure that they're breathing in FRC. And then they're gonna be doing, with this particular software, what we call an open shutter panting. Now that means they're going to be breathing at a rate of about 60 breaths per minute, or about one per second, with the open shutter. And it's also important that they put their hands against their cheeks to make sure there's no extra movement within the body box, all right? It's just their chest movement that's creating changes in the pressure in the box, all right? Maybe too much information in your patients. Maybe just coach them, normal breathing, and then panting with the filter in place, And that was a little bit fast. You actually want your breathing about one per second. So I'll show you with my hand. And if I bring my hand up or down a little bit, a little bit more, that means I want you to take bigger breaths. If I go like this, I want you to take a little bit smaller breaths. All right? So about one breath per second. Nice, even panting. And to help with that, we're going to have your hands on your cheeks, and I'm going to time it for you using my hands. So up, down, or one, two, one, two, one, two, and just nice, even panting. Now, after you've done that for just a couple of seconds, you'll hear some clicking inside the machine. Don't let that disrupt you. I want you to keep panting, but now what's going to happen is there's going to be a closed shutter. So we pant with you moving air, and then a couple of seconds later, we're going to close the shutter so you can't actually move any air, but I want you panting about the same. So now you'll be going, but you won't actually be able to move any air. I'll still be going, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, to help you keep the rate that we like, about 60 breaths per minute, a little over, a little under is okay, all right? And nice, even panting. And we'll get little graphs like this, okay? Now, 
After you're finished with that, I want you just to relax. You'll still be in the body box or the clothes. We're not quite finished yet. Just a nice, relaxed, even breathing. And then we're going to do what you did before. I'm going to have you take a nice, easy, big breath in as much as you possibly can. Big, 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 big breath in. And then blow it out. Keep blowing, keep blowing. Nice and easy. Just keep blowing it all out every bit of breath you can. I want you to blow it all out as much as you possibly can for as long as you can. And then relax. And that's going to be our body box test. And as soon as that's done, we can open up the door, let a little fresh air in there, and you can relax and just catch your breath. Okay? So let me repeat that. Start off with nice, normal, even breathing. Then panting about, at a rate of about 60 with the open shutter. And then keeping that panting, the shutter is going to close for just two seconds. So you'll be trying to move air, but you won't actually be able to do it. Just, I'll still be counting for you. One, two, one, two, one, two. And then the shutter's going to open after just two seconds. And then just nice, even breathing. And then we're going to get you to take a big breath in as much as you possibly can. A big, 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 big breath in again. And then blowing it out. Blow, 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 blow. Keep blowing, keep blowing, keep blowing as much as you possibly can blow out of there. And then just nice, relaxed breathing again. So, I'll be right here coaching you through it. So I'll help you. We're going to do it several times until you get the hang of it a little bit and we'll use the best results to report back your lung volumes to your physician. Okay, so let's get in there and try it. Okay, so let's see how that works on our patient now. Get him in the box, get it nicely sealed, give him good instructions, nose clips on. Now we're going to start off with just nice regular breathing, trying to establish a good FRC. So there's one breath, just nice, easy breathing. Hands on the cheeks just to get a little, prepare them for the panting maneuver. Okay, so there's three breaths. There's the fourth breath. So now you got to warn them that you're going to get them to start doing this panting maneuver. Okay, so in, out, in, out, in, out, in, out. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Good frequency, about one per second. Now we're going to click the shutter closed. Now keep panting, one, two, in, out, in, out, all over for the panting maneuvers. Okay. So now, nice, easy breathing. We're gonna do a slow vital capacity all the way in. Big breath in, big, 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 as you can, big as you can. Now blow it out, keep blowing, keep blowing as long as you can. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Don't stop now, keep going, keep going all the way out. Keep going all the way out and relaxed. Nice, easy breathing now. Okay, that didn't seem too hard, did it? Okay. There's a plasmography test. So we've got to coach our patient to do at least three maneuvers um, so that we can compare the results for each. So you can see here we've got three different maneuvers. And let's take a closer look here. So key thing is initially you want those baseline breaths at a FRC, so a nice baseline, and then we're looking for the panting maneuver. Here's the open shutter panting maneuver, and there's the closed shutter panting maneuver as close to FRC as possible. So right after we finish those panting maneuvers, we want to do a slow vital capacity. So big breath in, and blow it out, blow it out, and then relax breathing. Now during the open panting maneuvers and red arrows, you can see we want to keep those lines fairly tight. And here's the closed shutter panting maneuvers. And you can see you want to keep that just out of that range between those, um, those lines that you can see there. Not too big, not too small, at a frequency of about 60 breaths per minute or one breath per second. So once we have three of these tests completed, we're going to start reporting our data. With this um, plasmography, we can determine total lung capacity. And that's a very useful in determining uh, lung health. We can also determine the resistance, and that's done with the shutter open. So when you're doing the panting maneuver and the shutter's open, we're measuring resistance. And with the shutter closed, we're actually measuring thoracic volumes. So that's why we're doing those panting maneuvers. So this was a quick review of the plasmithmograph and pulmonary function testing. Thank you very much.